Math 083 Final Exam Review Problem 14 Parts A and B In Part A, we have the square root of x times the cube root of x. In order to write the expression using a single radical, we will convert each radical to the form having a fractional or rational exponent. The square root of x is x to the one-half power. The cube root of x is x to the one-third power. Because we are multiplying and the base, the x, is the same for each factor, we must add these two exponents together. We have to add one-half and one-third by laws of exponents. One-half plus one-third with a common denominator of six is three-sixths plus two-sixths that gives us five-sixths. So we have x to the five-sixths power. The denominator of the rational exponent I call the root. So we have the sixth root of x to the fifth power. That is our final answer in radical form. Let's look at part b. As in part a, we will convert each radical to the form having a fractional or rational exponent. In the numerator, we have n raised to the power divided by root, n raised to the four-fifths power. In the denominator, we have n raised to the two divided by three power. Because the base, n, is the same for each quantity in the numerator and the denominator, and because this is a division problem, properties of exponents say we must subtract. We will subtract by starting with the greater exponent. Four-fifths is greater than two-thirds. So we will subtract four-fifths minus two-thirds. And because we begin the subtraction with the expression in the numerator, our answer will go in the numerator. With a common denominator of 15, four-fifths is 12 fifteenths minus 10 fifteenths. That gives us 2 fifteenths. We have n raised to the 2 fifteenths power. The root is the fifteenth root. And so our answer is in radical form, the fifteenth root of n squared.